Hello, Katya here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here you see me, I have the lovely collection of our daily collection from Finna Bear. Uh, I have put my art journal books in uh, this uh, cover and there is one uh, with the blank pages. I pick it out uh, and I'm thinking of doing a spread in the book. I want you. Uh, I want to show you that is that you can do a spread and uh, don't overdo it and to not make it so complicated. Make it easy. I think this uh, uh, paper is adorable. They are blank with a little bit texture and have a creamy surface. I, uh, I want to do this book about me, so I choose between some photos and I don't want the photo to be too big, so you can see me here uh, that I will cut my photo a little bit because I want it to be rather small. And on this spread I want to keep uh, a lot of white. Uh, I want the paper to be shown and uh, I will use uh, some of the products from this collection. I start to choose some of the gorgeous watcher tapes. I will choose some tapes with some uh, text and I choose uh, the ones who are a little bit cream in the color. So now when I'm thinking about to do my composition, I'm thinking where to have my photo and I let my photo decide where, how my comp uh, composition will be. I have um, some uh, white gesso and my silicone brush. Uh, I apply a thin coat of uh, gesso. I don't want to apply too much because, like I said, I want to keep the creamy background co color so much as possible. And to use the silicone brush, I can really make a thin coat with it. It's very easy to apply. Um, so easy to apply a thin coat. And when you have uh, uh, applied a thin coat, the drying time goes really, really quickly to dry it. Now I have uh, the washes and you see me struggle a little bit with them. They are new, so it was easy, not easy to find. I add some pieces a little bit randomly and to add the washi is to add a little bit interest and also a little bit tex texture. Also, I want some of the text and the color of the shades be shown under the color what I will use. And here I check if it uh, will look okay. Yeah, so fun. Now I have some uh, impasto paints and I have choose three gorgeous colors. And I will start with the linen. Uh, it feels uh, like a really natural color. And you see me apply the color with my fingers. Yeah, I really do that oft often, uh, apply with the fingers. I think uh, it gets uh, more randomly and more soft uh, look on my page. And um, Yes, and that's what I like to achieve. I like uh, the, the fading effect, what you get when you use your fingers. And 
it's also about the feeling. Uh, paint on your fingers uh, and in your hands. Yeah, I really do love that. Now I will use uh, the other shades and I have the impasto paint Dusty Rose and I really love these pastels uh, from uh, impasto paint with the pastel uh, collection. I think they are adorable and I love, love the pastel colors and the impasto paints. Yes, they are really my favorite uh, because they are so opaque opaque and rich of uh, pigment so there are so many ways to play with uh, your impasto here i picked the next color it's a boudoir pink and i do them because i want them to blend a little bit but not too much you see me that i add them like in layers i want them to show little bit of every color yeah we are going on the right way okay i dab with a baby wipe a little bit because i want it to blend a little little bit more not so much Yeah, I'm thinking to add some uh, stamps and I do adore numbers. Yeah, numbers and letters are always fun to create with. So I have picked the numbers here and I pick randomly some numbers and I don't care so much on which way the numbers are and I pick randomly some numbers only and stamp here and there only to make a little bit contrast and a little bit interest on my page they are gorgeous numbers they will be any favorite of mine yes and uh, I'm choosing also, uh, there is uh, some circle, so I have an acrylic block, a small one. Uh, many times I don't use acrylic block. But here the stamps are so small, so it's more easy. When you're stamping, be sure to have a waterproof uh, ink so if you want to add some water or do something more um, it will keep the, uh, the ink and to not be messy yeah always uh, already look fun and you see and here I have a uh, a stencil, a stencil from Finnabare. The stencil is Iris Tapestry and already a favorite of mine. I love it. Here I have a makeup spo sponge and I dab and I have the impasto paint Snow White because I want to have little bit interest on the pink colors don't take too much uh, paint i did it here you see uh, i took too much paint because i only want it to be a little bit but i don't worry because i will have my photo there so also on the other side and I also do it on the white um, so I dab it outside the paint also you can't see it uh, here on uh, on my channel but when you have a close look on my page the white uh, really give a interest look to the page 
Now I show some uh, text sentiments from from uh, the stamps, and I just adore the text what you have there. So I decide to stamp the same text many times because I want it to be a little bit uh, meaningful, I think the word is. So, you see me, I have also acrylic blocks because I think here it feels important that you could uh, read uh, the stamping if you like to. I have a black pen and I like to frame my page so I draw uh, some lines. I think it uh, looks nice to frame. Here I have some sentiment stickers and there are so many. I choose sentiments from the lightest uh, pages and I'm so happy because they are so easy to use because it's uh, stickers. And there are so many of them. Uh, this will be also one of my favorites, the word stickers. I want to frame my stickers, so I have my black pen. And you see, it will not work for me. And that sometimes happens. Uh, sometimes dry or you have a wet surface. So here I have a really cheap pen and that worked. And the cheap pen is come from uh, TGR. It's uh, a cheap shop here in uh, Sweden. I think you have it in uh, Europe also. I don't know about the States. You see me also framing my own photo. Yeah, it's easy way. And I have double-sided tape on the back side, so it's easy to, to glue it. Then I want to have small pieces of uh, double-sided tape on my photo. So it looks like I have taped there, almost like an um, accident uh, way. So this uh, journal, it will be about me, I thinking of to having only photos from me here. Here I have Posca pens. I have a black Posca and a white Posca. And uh, I shake them well and I do some sprinkling. Shaking some dots. And the white one doesn't look so much, but it makes uh, the things go. Uh, I have the black one and that one makes more interest. I don't want to overdo it. I want to have only some few splashes here and there. I think uh, that was enough. And you see, I have a little bit too much a blob there. And uh, I was trying with a baby wipe, but uh, I think it will be messy. So what I do, yeah, pick a new sentiment there and um, take my black pen and frame it. And well, that's okay. I think my spread is finished and I liked. Remember to not overdo it. And thank you for stopping by. See you. Welcome back.